Everybody ready? You said you ready?
of the four uh, uh, picnic or most uh, be family uh, holiday. Uh, I don't I don't want uh, to be uh, an owner who has a place with a family and I eat up uh, spin uh, and I do not uh, spend uh, a time a time with uh, this family. Uh, I feel one of the luckiest person person uh, who have uh, who have family like you. Uh, your your care and love means uh, a lot to, uh, to me. Uh, that uh, I can't uh, express in my uh, words. Uh, my family importance will uh, be lost uh, when you so orphans uh, when uh, they miss uh, their family and uh, no one there to care and love them. Uh, our family is uh, recycled, recycled uh, strong, uh, based on uh, peace, uh, enjoy the, the love, keep uh, to that. Thank you. Very good. Up next, we have our mayor, Alyssa Robson, who will be giving out the 2017 King Gerardo Person of the Year Award. This is the first award of many that our city will begin giving out over the years. Alyssa and the people of our city came up with this award as a way to properly thank the people of Cape Gerardo for their kindness and their hard work. Please join me in welcoming our next speaker, Alyssa Robson. This year, after the death of a beloved member of our community, Ivy Parker, we have all really came together as a family. When I became mayor, I never knew how much support could come from just this town. It amazes me how caring everyone is, and it is so difficult for me to just choose one person. As Keaton mentioned before me, Cape Girardeau will be getting an amazing new park. This park could not have been possible without the donation of one man. This man has gone above and beyond with his kindness and generosity for and support of this new park. That is why the 2017 Cape Girardeau Person of the Year Award is going to the president of Southeast Missouri State University, Marwan, who is not here with us today. Marwan is a strong believer in not only going outside and having fun, but he's also um, has a strong passion for service and doing good in his community. Because of his love for the outdoors in his community, Marlon has donated $10,000 to go towards the park in honor of Ivy Parker. Without the generous donation of this man, the park would not have been possible. The money that Marlon donated made it possible for us to get a new playground, a baseball field, a pavilion, and build more trails, and to get nicer bathrooms for the park. I know we will all be forever grateful to Marlon for making this park possible, and that is why I thought you would be a good fit for this award. I would like to say thank you, Marlon, for your generosity and kindness, and to everyone else for always helping out. Thank you. All right. Actually, why don't you both